Hi, this is Alexis from the Kite Border Magazine. We're here down in La Ventana for the first stop of the 2018 Hydrofoil Pro Tour. I'm here with event director Nico. How are you doing, sir? How are you doing, sir? Thank you for coming. Great. I'm so excited. The first stop of the tour, a lot of riders, international riders, what, 52, 56? Uh, we have 56 out of uh, 19 countries. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Top guys in the world are here, yeah. top girls in the world, women from around yeah, the world have, are here? We have actually a, a pretty good fleet. I mean, usually we don't get that many, but we have like six of them and, and they're all excited about it. So hopefully we start to get more uh, girls coming into the tours, which is will be the... Now I noticed this year you've changed venues. Tell us about that a little bit. Uh, well, I, I didn't really uh, uh, change the venues. Uh, uh, the, the new venues coming into the tour, I guess. And uh, But this one has been uh, uh, the first one for uh, the, from the beginning, so uh, the reason why I'm doing it is because it wasn't going to happen, and I, I say, well, no, we can't lose this event. This is like the prime spot. I mean, you look at behind me; it's like the best ra race course there is. So I kind of took the the pressure on me and say, hey, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Can't let it go. Oh, of course you can't let it go. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, with the wind conditions, how are you guys running the fleet? Are two fleets, one fleet? How are you guys? So, so it? initially we have so many people, and uh, two fleets is kind of fun because you get you get two races with less people, and then you get to chill out a little bit on the beach, drink some water, which is uh, good for for you know hydration and, and watch uh, your friends racing. Uh, but due to the uh, conditions forecast for today, which is a little light winds and could be tricky, uh, I decided to do one fleet, and uh, uh, which is what the tour has been doing forever, and uh, because I want everybody to get a chance to go racing today, instead of maybe one fleet gets out and the other one doesn't. So everybody goes out, everybody has fun, go for it. Now talk about the course a little bit. So the course, um, we, we, we having three different courses this time. Um, I, I wanted to introduce a new different, uh, a new little different format, which is a, a windward gate. I think windward gate is uh, great for most of our sport that tacking is, is very penalized in time and speed, right? So if you get to not tack and, and, and go around the mark and go the other way, it becomes more tactical and, uh, and it splits the fleets downwind and then the next second upwind is going to be even more split so that that gives more tactics to the sport now i notice you all besides being the race director for this event you're also competing who are the guys and the women that are that everybody should look out for besides yourself of course <laughs> well i'm i haven't been training much i've been organizing but uh i'll, I'll give it a shot um, so uh, we have Axel Masella from France, we got Oli Bridge from Great Britain and his brother Guy Bridges, they're, they're doing great. Uh, we have, uh, you know, Ricky from Colombia, uh, we have, uh, God, uh, TDR, you know, Theo Ramacote uh, from France, uh, and uh, Theo Lottis from France. Uh, so we have pretty much uh, all the top riders, I think we only missing one or two people in this event. That's and what the about the women? And we have Daniela, of course, yeah. uh, representing and, uh, and defending her title. Yeah. She wants to stay up in the top as long as she can, I guess. She's very young. She's oh. not even 18 years old. I so. know. <laughs> so she has a long way to go. And we have uh, you know, a few new uh, girls coming to town. Some girls are uh, coming from the sailing, like uh, Evelyn yep. from the uh, US, and, and so they're really great sailors. So hopefully they pick it up uh, quick and uh, we got a better fleet, you know, build up that fleet. I think that'll be awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, sir. I hope there's more wind on the forecast and let's have a great event. Yeah, thank you.